And so we choose to act inspired by the three sacred words that breathed life into our nation, we the people. You don't love the spirit of justice. You love your father's death. So let's do this. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> let's go. Come on now. Okay, we ready? You don't love oh no, it's all celebrities. I think I learned this in Maga. middle school. Or fifth grade. Can I say this in Spanish? So should I read just this line or the whole thing? You don't love the spirit of justice. People. We the people. Nosotros. We the people. We the people. We the people of the United States. De los Estados Unidos. Do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. We the people. 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 We Yo, I literally, I have goosebumps. I, I have allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yo, this is so bad, dude. How do we have all the talent and all the Hollywood celebrities and shit, and yet the Republican conventions are so much more fun? By pure justice. virtue you of the psychopath that they put up. Like, the RNC is fun as shit because, like, literally everyone that goes to it, everyone that speaks at it, they're just justice. fat shit. This is just family. boring propaganda. It's not even, like, it, it's not even entertaining. What, what is the entertainment value in this? It's so cringe. I wish Democrats would just, like, lean into you the sexual degeneracy the that the right you claims we the have. You know what I mean? I wish they would just like play the weird freaks of the liberals than whatever the f this is. Yeah, play f wet ass pussy, dude. You should have Cardi B open for this shit, playing wet ass pussy. Hello, my name is Reverend Gabriel Salguero. Let us pray. Almighty God, we confess that our nation needs you and has always okay, needed you. Dude. We pray for your blessing what upon the all fuck? Republicans, independents, and Democrats. Fairly ashamed to say it, but I'm one of many who voted for the current president, Donald Trump. I challenge you to think back to what made you vote for Donald Trump in you 2016. Me um, I know I sure have. And I've registered as a Democrat for the first time in my life. Current events, if nothing else, we need more than anything, is a proven leader. Donald Trump's rhetoric is, it's divisive, it's dangerous. It's also really difficult to vote for someone who essentially has zero platform right now four months out from the election joe biden on the other hand has a very detailed plan things like unity education climate preservation unity. racial inequality is a really detailed plan on unity dude and go vote for a proven leader what is this i want to die oh Our this nation is, is so bad dude right now. i really hope people aren't watching this system. like this is so embarrassing I, I really hope that like Sorry. you know voters I'm in the margins or like the the independents Thanks aren't like watching this to make up their mind because i is anybody be like what the fuck is this what the fuck is going on dude if you're already a liberal Injustice. if you're already a liberal you're already gonna vote for joe biden if you've been excited to vote for joe biden what the fuck? like who cares the problem is a lot of these never trump republicans represent an insanely small sliver of voters okay an insanely small sliver of the voter base and the issue is they're just tim pool okay there are tim pool they make us feel good like these guys made up their minds they're gonna vote democrat and it makes us feel good because we're like oh even republicans are voting democrat and that's it they play no significant role in like changing people's minds they play no significant role in like getting republicans and winning them over and bringing them to our side that's it just like tim pool is a republican but he portrays himself as a liberal so that he can make Republicans feel better. Like, look, this guy, Tim Pool, he's a liberal and he still thinks that us Republicans were right. Dude, Republicans are disgusting, but at least like one, their events are 
fucking fun. And two, they say like psychotic shit. You know what I mean? Like democratic events, you, you listen to the Democrats, they're like, oh, we're united by one. We are the one country. Also, you know, uh, sex workers should be 360 no scoped. And if you're homeless, you're probably going to get killed. Do not try to build public housing in my backyard. I will fucking kill you. Right? Whereas, like, at least Republicans are just like, Democrats want to fuck your child. And then they want to bring in Latinas to fuck the child that came out of your child after she got fucked originally. At least it's fucking entertaining when you, when you listen to Republicans because it's like, all right, it's like two generations of rape is what Democrats are going for. And in 2020, have police departments still allowing uh, the use of a knee on a man's you neck in George Floyd? Justice. Uh, a, a lot of us were shocked, and I, and I think what gives Thanks me hope is that police officers were shocked. Police officers have spoken out, and we're hopeful that we'll have some national uh, standards as it relates to policing, use of force, a national database, uh, you know, abolishment of uh, prohibition and a national standard in terms of uh, choke. I have to say this. 84% of police officers voted Republican or said they were voting for Donald Trump. 80 fucking 4%. What is this conversation that we're having right now? Was it that hard? You found one fucking cop? 84%. That's higher than Mitt Romney, which was 77%. 77% of cops voted for Mitt Romney over Barack Obama. Hi, I'm Kevin. Um... I do a lot of things in life, but the thing I'm most proud of is a TAPS military mentor, and that's how I spend the majority of my time. We've got about 500 kids and family members and mentors, and we're all packed into this very large ballroom. And all of a sudden, the back door opens up, and in walks Joe Biden. I had almost an out-of-body experience because he, he surprised us all. You know, I like to think I'm- Bro, why does everything- Why did they do everything like fucking Viagra ad? Every ad break is literally like- if Concerta makes your penis erect for more than four hours, please consult a doctor. You might have degenerate heart disease as a consequence of using Concerta. Hope. And it's hard to articulate real character when you see it. You know, policies are great and we need sound policies as well, which that's, he also has those because he's got the chops, right? But it's almost like none of that matters if you don't have the character. This is a very unprecedented and challenging time that requires an unprecedented and courageous like, leader we need someone with the courage dude, this to do is so what's bad necessary and what's right to strive towards a more perfect it's just human. i guess like they're just trying to like really Joe, beef up the return to normalcy narrative you know what i mean like everybody. we need a president that's gonna show up at events you know what okay else joe knows if none of these motherfuckers shit on republicans i'm losing i'm losing my mind like i need at least one person to be like dude what are they doing? Look at these fucking hogs. I need them to shit on the Republicans in the same way that Republicans shit on Democrats on a daily basis, dude. Please, please, just once, like, give me a crumb. Give me a crumb so I can just be like, yes, you're right. You're fucking right. We know that our problems go beyond the COVID virus. COVID is the symptom, not the illness. Our nation is in crisis. And in many ways, COVID is just a metaphor. A virus attacks when the body is weak and when it cannot defend itself. Over these past few years, America's body politic has been weakened. The divisions have been growing deeper. The anti-Semitism, the anti-Latino, the anti-immigrant fervor, the racism in Charlottesville, what about where the KKK didn't even bother what about to wear their afraid of phobia, Cuomo? You're not going to talk about afraid of phobia? How dare you? The initial division. I'm Kristen Urquiza. I'm one of the many who has lost a loved one to COVID. My dad, Mark Anthony Urquiza, should be here today, but he isn't. He had faith in Donald Trump. He voted for him, listened to him, believed him and his mouthpieces when they said that coronavirus was under control and going to disappear. And that if you had no underlying health conditions, you'd probably be fine. So in late May, after the stay-at-home order was lifted in Arizona, my dad went to a karaoke bar with his friends. A few weeks later, he was put on a ventilator. Damn, and after dude. five agonizing days, Why are you gonna he was alone call out your dad like in this, the ICU dude? with a nurse holding his hand. That's my dad so was a healthy 65-year-old. His only pre-existing condition was trusting Donald Trump 
And for that, he paid with oh, his life. Your f***ing dad I am not died, alone. dude. Come on. Once I told my story. If someone else was using this as an example, that's one thing. But the person is literally the daughter. Like, that's crazy, dude. I don't know. I just wouldn't call out my dad post-mortem. You know what I mean? Even though there are a lot of people who's parents are psychopathic trump supporters i know I, I know a lot of you are in here right now holy shit would you really go on the dnc platform to be like my dad was a dipshit and died now i'm delighted and honored to introduce a former colleague of mine the former congressman from ohio the former governor of ohio john Kasich. america is at a crossroads sometimes elections represent a real choice a choice we make as individuals and as a nation about which path we want to take when we've come to challenging times. The stakes in this election are greater than any in modern times. It's a path that's led to division, dysfunction, irresponsibility, and growing vitriol between our citizens. Scale. Continuing to follow that path will have terrible consequences for America's soul. not going to lie. If Republicans lose to this, that's how bad they are. President okay. One against like, the that's other. how bad Donald He's Trump like, is, that Republicans could lose to this, to you. all of this. I'm a lifelong Republican, but that attachment holds second place to my responsibility to my country. That's why I've chosen to appear at this convention. In normal times, something like this would probably never happen, but these are not normal times. I'm proud of my Republican heritage. It's the party of Lincoln, who reflected its founding principles of unity and a higher purpose. But what I have witnessed these past four years belies those principles. Going yeah, no, George W. Bush's Republican Party or Ronald Reagan's Republican Party or George H. W. Better. Bush's Republican Party was totally different and, and super united. Very cool. I love those Republican parties. I hate this country so much future, sometimes, and this is one bright. of those times. Love I'm sure the there are Republicans justice. and independents who couldn't imagine crossing over to support a Democrat. They fear Joe may turn sharp left and leave them behind. I don't believe that because I know the measure of the man. Why is Reasonable, this? <laughs> faithful, respectful. And you know, no one pushes Joe around. Joe Biden is a man for our times. <laughs> times that call for all of us to take off our partisan hats. Don't worry, Joe Biden won't do a sharp Trump. left turn like give trans people rights, sir. I don't know. Make sure that Social Security is intact for the next four years. We can dream you as won't a get United socialized States medicine America with a soul. Excuse me. The next Hello, DNC platform is just going to be like ritual execution of AOC. Maybe like Ilhan Omar. You know what I mean? Ilhan Omar propped up like that Norwegian like eagle uh, torture where they pull out your spine and like make your lungs into into wings like that's what they're going to be doing next time just ritual ritual execution of uh, uh progressives in the party listen this is how much we hate the left dude vote for us republicans we are going to midsummer the six leftists in the party please vote for us how do we keep losing we've brought on the entire ex-republican party team why won't you vote for us next dnc is literally gonna be like listen i'm paul ryan and i'm here to tell you we need to vote for michael bloomberg i know he's 700 years old at this point but god damn it we cannot let this country get lost to donald trump a third term after he removed term limits from the presidency i'm paul ryan and i'm here to tell you that you democrats know Americans. how to deregulate the industry it's far better than Republicans do. Please vote for the DNC Democrat. Party. And this fall, we will send Joe Biden to the White House and we'll flip the U.S. Senate. With Mitch McConnell out of power and a Democratic majority in the Senate, we will expand voting access and protect voting rights. To do this, America, we need you on our side. So go to JoeBiden.com right now to chip in and then head over to FlipTheSenate.com to help us take back the Senate. Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell know how to divide, but we know how to stand together and turn this country around. Dude, I don't want unity. I want blood, dude. Am I the only one who feels this way? Am I alone in this? I want, I want to own Republicans, okay? I want to own them. I want them to cry on the streets. I want to own them so hard with expansion of medicare even if we can expand it to like 55 you know what i mean 
or of the public option. Like I want to own the f out of them. I want them to cry while they receive more comprehensive medical coverage from the government. That's what I want. I want them to freak out about how demented Joe Biden and his stupid f administration finally brought some like marginal change. That's what I want. I want him to, f and I want these motherfuckers to, to also reflect that. I don't want the, t what is this unity you shit? You know, the president may hate the president. None of these cocksuckers want to unify with us, the okay? They hate us. Unity is about reaching up toward a higher purpose, a better future for all of us. E pluribus unum, out of many, one. It is more than a motto. It is the North Star for our democracy. Now more than ever, we need a president who will unite this country. Barack Obama, better known tonight as Michelle's husband, he leaned on Joe for his strength and decency. She and said you it. can too. She you said You know, it. most candidates, Sister. when they end their camp, Joe ran for the same reasons I did when I announced my campaign in the middle of that blizzard on the banks of the Mississippi Say River. It. Oh, my God. To cross the river I will of our write divides, her in. To bring this nation together. I will literally to write her in if she says the blizzard America. line. As I said the day I endorsed him. And in my final words, I'd like to say science is on my side. We all ran for president. And Motivated I'd like to see how your hair would fare in a blizzard, Mr. Umbrella Man. You know what's uh, really funny? Low key, out of all of these people who ran against Joe Biden, the only one who was truly a pussy on that stage and kept sucking up to him was Bernie Sanders. Like, all of these vicious vultures literally ate away at Joe Biden as much as he could. There was one pussy on that stage who I routinely criticized for not attacking Joe Biden nearly enough. And that pussy's name was Bernie Sanders. And he doesn't even get the speaking slot here. Like he, he will speak later on. But I mean like he's not even on the compilation. You should have just played a compilation of Bernie Sanders being like, Joe is my good friend. I love him. Uh, we... Our good friends, we go way back one time when everybody else was making fun of me. Joe was the only person who didn't make fun of me and said, you know, you can sit at the cool kids table today. Good oh, evening. Oh, no. Our great nation is I can't now watch living this. in an unprecedented moment. This is going to be We're so sad. We're facing the worst public health crisis in 100 years and the worst economic collapse since the Great Depression who is not only incapable of addressing these crises, but is leading us down the path of authoritarianism. This is cock porn, This dude. election is the most important, and we need Joe Biden as our next president. Let you me take this opportunity to say a word to the, the millions of people who supported my campaign this year and in 2016. My friends, Thank you for your trust, your support, and the love this you still showed hurt. Jane. This Spirit still hurts. Together, we, we have moved this country devil. in a bold Pepe new hands. direction. Undermined the U.S. Postal Service. Deployed the military and federal agents you against peaceful against protesters. Nero fiddled while Rome burned. Trump golfs. His actions fanned this pandemic resulting in That's over 170,000 deaths to this pandemic. Is this literally the first Too time we've talked policy so far, at least like have been caught on an aside economic from like treadmill Trump is responsible no for Corona and postal service. Uh, Dave Wagle also mentioned uh, Cuomo speech that also talked about like Trump's travel ban and shit like that. But ultimately the only mention that, that clearly defined Trump's policies and Joe Biden's policies was Bernie Sanders' speech. I guess Cuomo also vaguely mentioned a couple things, but outside of that, everything has been like unity candidate, mourner in chief, all this other shit that is completely inconsequential. Once again, Bernie Sanders is better at selling Joe Biden than any number of different uh, uh, six figure consultants that Joe Biden has around him. And four years ago, too many people chose to believe that their votes didn't matter. Maybe they were fed up. Maybe they thought the outcome wouldn't be close. Maybe the barriers felt too steep, whatever the reason. In the end, 
Those choices sent someone to the Oval Office who lost the national popular vote by nearly three million votes. In one of the states that determined the outcome, the winning margin averaged out to just two votes per precinct. Two votes. And we've all been living with the consequences. You don't love when my husband left office with Joe Biden at his side. Internationally, we've turned our back, not just on agreements forged by my husband, but on alliances championed by presidents like Reagan and Eisenhower. Did you just say Reagan? Ronald Reagan literally said African diplomats are monkeys who don't know how to wear shoes. I'm just going to point that out there. Any liberal who praises Ronald Reagan is completely out of their minds. Reach out. We know that what's going on in this country is just not right. This is not who we want to be. Over the past four years, a lot of people have asked me, when others are going so low, does going high still really work? My answer, going high is the only thing that works. Because when we go low, when we use those same tactics of degrading and dehumanizing others, we just become part of the ugly noise that's drowning out everything else. I don't want to go high. I want to go low, dude. Differences. I want to go all the way to the f floor, dude. I want to. I want Democrats to operate as lowly as they do when they f try to dick over the left when they're dealing with the Republicans. That's what I want. Our truth. He was a terrific vice president. He knows what it takes to rescue an economy, beat back a pandemic, and lead our country. And he listens. He will tell the truth and trust science. He will make smart plans and manage a good team. And he will govern as someone who's lived a life that the rest of us can recognize. When he was a young senator, Joe lost his wife and his baby daughter. And when he was vice president, he lost his beloved son. So Joe knows the anguish of sitting at a table with an empty chair, which what? is why he gives his time so freely to grieving parents. Joe knows what it's like to struggle, which is why he gives his personal phone number to kids overcoming a stutter of their own. His life is a testament to getting back up. And he is going to channel that same grit and passion to none of this is true to help us heal. like Joe Biden isn't now, this Joe incredible is human person. being. I don't know why the f the they're trying to sell him that. as such. But just tell me what no the f I get out of this presidency president beyond his ability getting Donald Trump out. I'm already grow. sold. But if you want to sell he to the rest of the fucking country, kind of you got to give him something, dude. Sure 2016 was right the now. at least we're not Donald because Trump. Come Joe on, Biden Jack. Election. This and we lost entire that election. Ever so why the fuck are we running that same exact play right now? Yeah, dude, you seem sold. Any of these most I'm not basic sold. I'm done. Functioning society. I've already given up. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Michelle Obama. You are you are what we miss in this country we need more of that example thank you so much for being part of this unconventional convention uh thanks to all of y'all who have been tuning in it's a it's a convention about you and for you the american people this is our chance Justin. i'm not gonna lie um, like michelle obabe's got a f podcast and shit i really thought her speech was gonna be better it, it was pretty mid sorry get mad at me if you want but it was mid as and will big tent more like i'm gonna need a big tent to f get through this upcoming election cycle holy shit dude this is so sad what the f was this dude this is oh my lord this was so bad look when i say i don't give a f i mean i don't give a f the only way that they could be worse is if they were like closer to donald trump or worse than donald trump and they're not because donald trump is f horrible the republican party is horrible democrats can get away with being nearly as horrible but not as bad okay if your opposition is just so horrific and there's only two options you can just be as bad as you want but don't for a second think that like if you even for a second think that democrats are putting forward effective policies or or an effective opposition and that's why they're winning and not exclusively because trump is losing
uh, this election, you're you're fooling yourself.